April showers bring May flowers, right? Well, what happens when it rains on our financial situation? Well, it turns out only 38% of Americans have enough to cover an emergency. So how do you make sure you have enough in your rainy day fund? Mindy McIntosh from McIntosh & Associates is with us again. Thank you so much, Mindy, for joining us. Thanks for having me. So first off, why are these rainy day funds important, and should we all have them? We definitely all should have them. Uh, I know a lot don't, but they're so important. We plan with every one of our clients, you need to have three to six months of earnings and, and of what you're bringing in every month so you can pay for not only everyday expenses that you're paying for, but what about when something goes wrong with your furnace or a car repair. So we see way too many times where, oh my gosh, can't pay for this expense. Right. Let's put it on this high interest credit card. Now they're in Big a mistake. world of trouble again. <laughs> can't get out of right. paying for that credit card, they're barely making minimum payments, wow. interest rates are too high, and we just see a repetitive cycle then of just a financial trouble. So what are some ways to save? Some good ways to save is to really start with creating a budget. Okay, We have a nice budget tracker um, worksheet on our website at wealthmichigan.com, and if you can create a budget and stick to it. The biggest thing is you create a budget, but then you kind of review it maybe a time or two with me and you kind of put it away and don't think about it. So if you can do some budget planning now, what am I spending every day? Where is all this money going to? What am I putting away for future? Where am I where do I see myself in five years from now? So really if they can create that budget and start from there, it really does help doing that. Okay. I mean how much should we be saving? How much should we be putting away? Well what we want to do is first track our spending. So we track all of our spending with what our income is coming in and I tell all of our clients if we can put away ten percent of what our income is mm. into our savings for retirement, that really is ideal. Now a lot of people can't start there. Right. But let's start with a couple percent. Let's put a few percentage away help for that college planning, help for your own retirement needs, and maybe we need we might need to get rid of some cable TV for you for there a few you months. Know, yeah. Might have to get rid of um, coffee runs, right. eating out so much. So Going to that gym sometimes, even that gym membership can get expensive. Sometimes, you yes. can do your, some things around the house there or walking sure is. around, you know, yes. just a brisk walk outside. Do some chores at home, yeah. work out outside, mm -hmm. do some of your own routines because that, right. all those items all are more of a luxury and they do get very expensive. So sometimes we just need to have others look at that, monitor that, yeah. and kind of tweak it from time to time. So many, I'm thinking about some things, why you would need a rainy day fund. You know, some, you, sometimes you don't even think about a loved one getting sick. Right. You know, a baby. Yes. A new baby. So yeah. talk to me about some of those things and why that's so important. Yeah, so when we deal with like let's say a baby being born or a disability that can come up and now all of a sudden someone's off of work for maybe it's only six weeks, right. eight weeks, twelve weeks, how are you going to still be living within your means, within your budget of every month? So that's why we need to make sure that you're not everything that's coming in isn't going out every month, whether it's for fixed expenses or whether it is for some of those variable. So if we can create that emergency fund and have that three to six month savings, when something like that comes up, whether it's planned like a baby or an unexpected disability type of situation or a loved one that you're needing to help take care at a right. time of need, you're not feeling that burden of, wow, where am I gonna pay for this? Where's this money gonna come from? What am I financing next? So it kind of keeps you on a, wow, you know yes. what? You kind of have things in order, you're monitoring it, you're saving, and it, it makes a lot happier household too. And Mindy, you don't want to get in debt, and you don't want to have to get this loan and the next loan, and then the right. debt is just increasing and increasing. You really right. have to save, and that's why it's just so important. You have to stress how yes. important that is. It's extremely little, important. And you can save in little ways. Yes, there's many well. little ways you can save, and also there's ways we've seen numerous changes in our clients where we say, okay, let's look, let's write down all of your debt you have. Okay. So we write down each item, what debt they have on their home, their car, maybe if they have two credit cards and a couple of other items, let's say. Well, those credit cards are usually the highest interest. So with our clients, we have them pay off the credit card with the lowest balance first. They get that paid off, they feel good, it's one less payment, it right. really gives them momentum to stay on track. That's great, Mindy. I, I mean, I just love this because, you know, people don't think about how much debt that you can get in so right. easily. Right. So if people need some more information, where can we go? More information, they can either go to our website at wealthmichigan.com or call our office um, at 989-692-2200. We, I'm happy to talk to you over the phone. My staff is there as well. Or they could come on in and, and do a, a no obligation consultation. I'd be happy to help get that in order. Great, thank you, Mindy. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.